Hey guys, Logan here with the Nemo Shop. Haven't been on and making videos for a while, but I thought I'd uh, start trying to make a few and show you what I got going on in the uh, garage here. As you can see, I got a, a bench top drill press uh, sitting here on my fabrication table, and I picked it up at work. They were throwing it out, so the price was right. I picked it up and I brought it home, and and it needed a new belt. The belt was scratched, and uh, the switch is kind of a little funny, but other than that, it seems to be a pretty good. Uh, pretty good little drill press. So I set it on a table uh, that you can't see it's out, out of camera here but I set it on a table and the thing is actually you, know, you can see it's the table I set it on is actually a little taller than this and uh, it's just kind of it's just too tall and I didn't want to cut my table down but I wanted to bring the, the drill press a little bit down to a more usable uh, height so I decided to uh, put an extension in here in the pipe and make it a floor standing model. Uh, try to get it to something that I wanted to be able to use you know, when I needed it. So uh, that's what this video is going to be about. I actually started the project and uh, didn't start recording, but I'm going to catch you up on, on what I did. I went to my local steel, uh, steel supplier and picked up a piece of this uh, Schedule 40 black pipe and uh, the outside dimensions on it, I use my calipers here, and, and uh, the outside dimensions on it are uh, 2 and 7 eighths, which matches what I have currently. So I picked up a 26 inch piece of this, and then I picked up some uh, 6 by 6 by uh, 3 eighths square plate, two of, two of them. As you can see, it's currently round, but uh, I use my 4 and a half inch grinder to uh, cut the cut the corners off, and then I use my Harbor Freight 12 inch disc sander to uh, to turn them around, and also use the drill press to uh, drill the bolt pattern so that I can use it. So what we're going to do today is we're going to keep working on this project. I'm going to uh, mount this base plate onto the base of the uh, the drill press, and then I'm going to uh, weld this pipe onto it with my Miller and uh, get it nice and square and straight up and down. And then I'm going to put this plate here on top of it and get it welded on nice and flat. And then I should be able to transfer that right on top of here and turn my uh, my bench press uh, bench top drill press into a standing floor model. So uh, stay tuned and we will uh, get busy. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pull the top of the drill press off the base, and uh, that way we can mount the bottom plate to it and start working on putting the. Uh, extension tube on. So I've already taken the four bolts that are holding it on uh, off. So we'll just go ahead and drag it off there. Okay, so, so we've got that down. I'm going to fall off the table. So here's our base. So I'm going to go ahead and take one of my plates that I that I made, set it on there, and reinstall these bolts. I just used the, uh, the flange here to uh, trace around with my square plate to trace around it and then transfer the holes and I used a set of transfer punches then to uh, center mark the holes and then actually use the drill press to drill the holes. So I'm going to get this back down. I don't know exactly how level my tabletop here is. It's pretty level but since it's going to be sitting on the floor I'll probably go ahead and move it on down to the floor. and. Uh, set the pipe up there and start tacking it, getting it nice and uh, straight and level and squared up. So again, this pipe is going to be on here like so. Uh, 
Uh, my plan is I'm going to take a scale, six inch scale. I'm just going to go around the quadrants here and get it uh, as close as I can get it with the scale to center. Uh, I'm going to check with my level in the quadrants and see which way it's leaning. And whichever way it's leaning, I'm going to go ahead and tack it on the opposite side. That way I can tap it back against the tack and, and, ta and tack it on this side, and that's the plan. So let me get a scale and we'll get started on getting it uh, straightened up. Okay, so I'm going to use this six inch scale to uh, just get it as close to centered up on the plate as I can. So I'm about 1.4 on this side. Flip over here, one, three and a half. So that's pretty good. Over here, I'm about 1.425. Over here, I'm 1.3 something. So I'm just gonna scoot it a little bit. Right, almost 1.4. Over here, I'm hair under 1.4. Scoot it a hair, one four, hair under. That's probably as close as it needs to be for what we're doing here. All right, so I grabbed this little magnetic uh, craftsman level. I, I mean, it'd be nice if it was a little longer, but this should be uh, be just fine. I'm gonna check this side over here. Yeah, it's definitely leaning. It's definitely leaning this way, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the welder ready and uh, put a little tack here. And I'm just going to going to start by tacking it, and then I'm going to move down to the floor because that's where it's going to sit. And then I'll go ahead and finish uh, getting it level and tacking it real good before we start welding. It. All right, guys. So here's my little Millermatic uh, 215. It's a Meg Tig stick combo, and man, I really love this little machine. It's uh, the little bit that I've used it in the shop here so far to build the uh, table that I'm working on and and uh, some different things. It's been a, it's just been fantastic. Uh, I, I was planning to shoot video when I built the table, my little fab table here, and I didn't do it, but I'll probably do a small video and kind of show you what I've, what I've got going on because uh, this table is really handy and liking it quite a bit. So I'm um, basically uh, got the gas on and everything. I'm ready to uh, put some tack welds on, so let's take a look at that. All right, guys, so uh, we'll get ready to weld. Don't forget, maybe uh, safety glasses if you want. Um, I use a, a Jackson Next Gen auto darkening helmet. I kind of like it. I used to make uh, my living with it. I don't do that anymore. But uh, let's go ahead and put a tack on this, and uh, we'll get ready to start leveling it up. So you can hear, man, that Miller just sizzles. Really nice little machine. I don't know if you can see the uh, tack. I'm not gonna bore you with it. I'm not uh, trying to put on a welding dis demonstration. I'm, by no means am I the best welder in the world, but my stuff sticks together and that's all that really matters to me. So uh, let's keep going. Okay guys, so we've transferred on down to the floor here where it's actually gonna stand. I thought that might be a little better for uh, leveling it up. So first thing I'm gonna do is check this side here. It's not terrible, but right about there would be a whole lot better. So I'm gonna see about sticking a little tack on there just to hold it there briefly. Okay. Not too bad. Take a look at it on. So it's actually leaning a little bit. A little bit. Let's see if I can get it to. Actually, I think if it's leaning a little bit, I think if I put a tack on this side, it's going to pull over towards it. And it did. Maybe give it a second one, see if I can get it to pull.
looking pretty good guys. I'm going to go ahead and tack this fourth quadrant here and, uh, and uh, maybe, maybe weld it in. Said, I'm not a professional welder. I'm going to weld this around. I don't know if it's going to want to uh, pull on me as I weld it. I'm not real concerned with it being one solid, smooth, seamless weld around. I've kind of got some uh, bolt heads in the way here, so I I could go ahead, I suppose, and take them out, and that would help. I could even I could even take it out and put it on the table, maybe, and and wrap a strap handle around it, and I could actually weld a solid bead all the way around it. I'm not. I'm not sure that it, you know, that it requires all that for what I'm doing, but I think I'll just go ahead and, and put some nice stitches in here and uh, call it a day. So let's go on and do that. guys so I'm going to do the same thing I did for the bottom plate. Uh, looking at the drill press the bolt pattern is square and it looks like I need to have them kind of pretty square for it to line up you know parallel to the base and all but so I'm going to just go ahead and check the quadrants going around. 1.4 seemed to be my number from the bottom side so pretty good. I'm going to stand up here and uh, look at it and see if it's actually looking like the... looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a tack. I'm going to see which way it's leaning and give it a tack. And uh, then I'll get this plate leveled up here. So it looks like it's leaning. Yeah, so I'm going to want to tack here first. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I probably will end up uh, laying this over though to, to weld it, obviously. But. Here's 
is that's nice and flat. Looks pretty good. I don't know that you guys can see it, but it looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and give it a good tack over here. back to the table so I could go ahead and weld around it. We'll see how this works out. Should be able to get around it no problem. inches a good six inch shorter than the table that I was working with it at it was just really high and just kind of kind of awkward looking at it now I probably could have went eight inches shorter probably wouldn't have hurt anything at all but projects about done I like it it's just gonna be way more usable so basically it's a Dayton drill press so it's not a bad little drill press the price was right. They were throwing it out. I picked it up for free. The switch is a little funny. May need may need to be uh, replaced. I replaced the belt. I think that was maybe six bucks at AutoZone. I've got fifteen dollars in steel in it from the uh, steel store and uh, a little bit of time. But other than that, I mean, it's a pretty easy project to to turn your benchtop model into a floor model if you if you're wanting your bench space back or or if you don't like the height but anyway I'm going to uh, go ahead and put the bolts in it tighten it all down and uh, I think it's about a done deal the uh, hardest part of the project was getting that six by six three eighths turned into circular into a circle and if I could take it to work and put it in my CNC machine or a wire EDM it would have been quick easy painless but uh, doing it the old-fashioned way with grinder and, and uh, disc sanders and it was a little more challenging but it's done and it looks good so uh, I'm gonna wrap this up thanks for tuning in to the uh, Nemo shop I hope to get more videos out like I said this this fab table I'm gonna do just a short little video on on it and what I use to make it and uh, I wish I would have caught it on video but thanks for watching and more videos to come <laughs>